1.3 asked us to go and find the tan of 2 theta. Okay, I'm going to start saying that all of us know that the tan theta is sin theta over cos theta. We all know that. So very simply, tan 2 theta is equal to the sin of 2 theta divided by the cos of 2 theta. Now you know this question, you go back to your previous answer that you did. Now you've got the sin of 2 theta there. But grade 12, we worked it out already. We told them what the sin of 2 theta is. Can you see? The sin of 2 theta here was 2, 24 over 25. The sin of 2 theta was 24 over 25 and you fill it in there. You don't have to go and work it out again. And what was the cos of 2 theta? The cos of 2 theta we got to be 7 over 25. So you substitute your 7 over 25 there. Just go back to, be, to your previous question. The sin of 2 theta we got to be 24 over 25. There's the cos of 2 theta. I worked it out as 16 minus 9 is 7 over 25. So all I'm going to do, grade 12, I'm not going to expand this again. I'm not going to expand this again. We're saving time and we're merely taking the answers from the previous question. And all you do here is you've got 24 over 25. I'm going to reciprocate and your final answer is going to be 24 over 7. 24 over 7. Remember, some people ask me, ma'am, where did you get the 7 from? Let me just show you quickly. You've got 16 over 25. I'm working with a cos here, minus 9 over 25. You've got the same LCD here, which is 25. 16 minus 9 gives me that 7 over 25. And I have 24 over 7. Somebody sent through a beautiful answer here. He said, ma'am, is it 7 goes into 24 three times and 3 over 7. Well done to Luke, Luke Heino who said 3 and 3 over 7. And now also I have 3 comma 4, 3. Learners, you are doing well. Once again, leave your answer in fraction form or you can go to decimal form. We now just did a double angle tan theta, we did a double angle for sin theta, and we did a double angle for cos theta. And I've got some beautiful answers from you, and that is amazing.